Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Venkatesh. I am a DevOps engineer. This is a DevOps Pro Junction YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see about one of the concept with the Terraform series related to state locking. Before that, I am making a lot of videos with effort related to Terraform, Kubernetes, DevOps related stuff. I believe these videos are helpful. If you find these videos are helpful, give thumbs up, subscribe my channel and follow for the more videos. It will be encourage me to make lot of videos. Let's dive into today topic. So what is uh, state locking with the Terraform? So state locking will help you to lock your state file if someone is trying to do some changes on Terraform. So let's see. Uh, so we have to configure the backend. So for that, I'm using S3 here. You can use uh, any other backend as well. Here, I'm going to show with AWS. So this is for the S3. Uh, I'm going to make it as a backend. I will explain you more about this. So let's see how this state uh, locking will going to work. I'm going to show you the demo. So for this, we need some requirement. We need S3 bucket and uh, DynamoDB table and we need two users for to test this state locking as well. So let's see the demo. So uh, here I have the uh, script with my console. You can see that uh, I have the script. So in this script, uh, I already initialized it. Um, so here I have two security groups and one EC2 creation. And after that, when it comes to provider.tf, I have the Terraform block and I have the backend block. So you can refer this for your uh, uh, your uh, other demo purpose or your uh, usage purpose. And here we have the provider block and which I'm using the AWS. After that, I have total two variables. So let's create the S3 bucket first of all because we need a S3 bucket as per our requirements. Let's go to the console. Here, um, you can go, go to create bucket and uh, you have to give the name as per the script. So here I already uh, taken the name. You can give an any, you can give any name for your bucket. And then I'm choosing ACL is disabled and I'm uh, enabling all public access. And then uh, I just give, give an acknowledgement and uh, I don't want uh, versioning. And then uh, I don't want any uh, bucket key. I given uh, disabled. And then uh, I'm going to create this bucket directly right now. So once I given this uh, create bucket, I can see that my bucket got created on the AP South one. So same thing I have specified already AP South one and here you you need to give the key. So key is nothing but you are going to store your state file into this bucket. So for that I have created the directory called dev. You can give any directory name whatever you wish under that this name should be standard Terraform TF state. So you have to give same as it is. So like this Terraform TF state under uh, any directory name. Then I have given specified the region, which is my bucket uh, region here. And then uh, here I specified the DynamoDB table details. So we are going to create the DynamoDB table. For that, you can go to DynamoDB uh, in your console. Uh, you, can, you can search this uh, service. Then you can go to create table and you have to enter the name of your table. So for that, I already taken the name. You can you have to give the same name, uh, but whatever you are giving the name, you have to refer it into this backend. OK, and then uh, I'm giving the name here and partition key. So this partition key, I'm giving it as a lock ID. You should use the same thing as a lock ID. So it is the standard one. You can use it lock ID. Don't change this one. OK, and then uh, for this is for testing purpose. I'm not doing any customization with this uh, table. I'm not creating any tag. And uh, by creating this one, uh, you can see that it will be uh, active status within uh, five to ten seconds. So now our, uh, our uh, DynamoDB table came to active status. So next, what we are going to do, uh, we are going to initialize the uh, initialize this 
this script so for that uh, i have already uh, initialized it but i'm going to remove that one um, dot terraform then dot terraform uh, dot log dot hstl okay it's not removing let's remove from the power shell let's clear the screen i'm removing this uh, two files which is not required so i just removed it don't uh, don't confuse with this one so now i have a fresh code and i'm going to do initialize this one terraform init so once you given the initialize it's showing that successfully configured the backend s3 and it's now downloading your plugins and uh, it's downloading if any models you have mentioned in your configuration files so it's going to uh, download it all right so those downloads you can see here under dot terraform and it's created the uh, log.hcl file which is going to lock your version which you have provided all right and now again i'm clearing the screen now what we are going to do we are going to give just a terraform plan so once i give the terraform plan uh, it's going to show you the terraform plan uh, before that you should configure your credentials here which means uh, i have already the console access right so you have to configure access key and secret key already okay so that only you can uh, interact with your aws account now it is showing that uh, it's going to add total three uh, resources here so now let's clear the screen so i already configured the aws configure uh, you can see that using aws s3 ls i can able to list out the buckets and uh, here is our bucket name s3 bucket test it okay now we have just seen how the terraform plan is works so now what we are going to do uh, we have completed two requirements one is s3 bucket another one which we have created the dynamo db table now we just uh, simply tested with the terraform plan so it is working fine now what we are going to do we are going to test with the another user for that what i am going to do i am going to uh, open the another another terminal here you can uh, here here i already having the access of my account so you can see that again uh, so it is it is giving the uh, name of my bucket again so what here going to do i already uh, made it of a dynamo db table with log if someone is trying to do some changes and they are doing some upline then other person can't able to uh, do any changes so that is the purpose of this uh, dynamo db table so here i am going to show you how this work so just i am typing with the terraform plan again here i am giving uh, terraform plan first i am going to apply on this this terminal so this is the first person this is the second person this first person is going to give a plan now i am giving entering for the second person so now you can see that how it it shows so it's, it's saying that error occurring the state log because someone already uh, done a terraform plan or they have did a terraform apply so that's why it's showing some error which is saying that state lock is happen you can't able to uh, do any changes if, so the first person is completed then only you can do that now i'm going to show you the other thing as well with the second person here i'm going to um, show you with the second person now so i'm going to do first for the second person i'm giving for terraform plan first per second person now i'm giving the for the first person so you can see that what happened here so you can see that so he, second person has uh, given terraform plan first then only uh, first person has given terraform plan so that's why he is getting the error so this is how it will work so now if you remove this state locking then if someone is trying to access your uh your terraform script and same other other person also doing then it will be get some conflict so you have to use state locking by that way you can protect your uh, making some conflict with your terraform configuration state files so this is how the demo uh, will works and you can able to understand how this state locking is working with s3 bucket on aws
I believe this video is helpful. If you find this video is helpful, give thumbs up, subscribe my channel and follow for the more videos. Let's see you in the next video.